Ever wondered how your favorite games come to life? It's not magic, it's game engines. These digital powerhouses are the unsung heroes behind every world you've explored, every enemy you've defeated, and every epic cutscene that gave you chills. And we're unpacking four of the biggest names in the biz, Unity, Unreal, Godot, and CryEngine. Welcome to the Aribri channel, your go-to hub where gaming trends meets marketing insights. Before we dive into the code and creativity behind your favorite games, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. You won't want to miss what's coming next. Let's kick things off with Unity, the indie developer's best friend and the go-to engine for mobile and multi-platform games. Unity launched back in 2005 with a mission to democratize game development and it absolutely delivered. Its user-friendly interface, massive asset store, and cross-platform support made it the backbone of countless indie hits and mobile powerhouses. But it hasn't been all smooth sailing. Recent layoffs and fee structure changes triggered some serious community backlash. Still, Unity's marketing game is strong, with a freemium model and a toolkit full of monetization features that make it as much a business partner as it is a development engine. Next up, Unreal Engine, the big, cinematic beast from Epic Games. First flexed in 1998 with the game Unreal, this engine is the reason your favorite Tepopoe games look like movies. Unreal Engine 5 brought the industry-shaking Nanite and Lumentech into the spotlight, turning real-time rendering into an art form. It's powerful, but it's not beginner-friendly. What makes it shine in marketing? Brand Collabs. From Fortnite, Ex Balenciaga, to Unreal-powered short films, Epic doesn't just market an engine, it markets imagination. Add that to the fact that it's free until you make money, and Unreal becomes a studio dream. Let's shift gears to Godot, the open-source underdog that's quietly building a cult following. Born from Ocom Studio and released to the public in 2014, Godot is a completely free engine with no licensing headaches. Perfect for 2D games and constantly evolving, it just dropped version 4.5 this year. Godot is lightweight, flexible, and beloved by devs who want creative freedom without financial barriers. Sure, it's got some catching up to do in 3D, but the community support is off the charts. No corporate marketing needed here. It's all grassroots, all passion, all hustle. Think Reddit threads. Discord channels, and devlogs that keep the conversation alive. And finally, we have CryEngine, the visual juggernaut behind titles like Far Cry and Crisis. If you want jaw-dropping realism, this is your engine. Launched in 2004 by Crytek, CryEngine delivers advanced physics, real-time lighting, and tech that still turns heads. But it's a double-edged sword, powerful yet complex. Crytek's pay-what-you-want model helped attract more devs, but licensing and learning curves have kept it from dominating. That said, their marketing strategy is developer-first. Tutorials, tips, and an emphasis on community involvement help smaller teams go big. So what's the takeaway? Whether you're building the next pixel art platformer or the next big shooter, your engine matters. Unity offers accessibility. Unreal gives you blockbuster visuals, Godot empowers the open-source revolution. And CryEngine? It flexes raw graphical muscle. From a marketing perspective, each engine tells a different story. And understanding that story is just as important as what the engine can do. In an industry where branding and user support go hand in hand, choosing the right engine isn't just a dev decision, it's a marketing move too. So which engine is your weapon of choice? Drop a comment below and let us know what you're building, modding, or dreaming up. And of course, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell so you never miss our next deep dive into the gaming industry. Until next time, stay curious, stay creative, and keep pushing pixels.